y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i am kiera if this is your first time on my channel welcome so as you can tell by the title of this video we're going to be going over the power of being alone and how to enjoy your own company without feeling lonely so that is the topic that we are covering in today's video if that is something that you're interested in make sure you continue watching this video so the number one benefit for spending time alone is definitely having self-awareness when you are alone and actually enjoying your own company when you are by yourself without needing to please or satisfy any other person in the room when you're strictly by yourself you have time to process your thoughts you have time to think and go over things you have time to just sit with how you feel without any distractions and I think that is like the most positive thing that you can deal with when it comes with being alone it was hard for me being alone I'm like a loner right but I didn't grow up this way I grew up in a six-family household and it was kind of, it was always people at our house but I always hated the fact that we always had people at our house because I like you know just like being by myself sometimes but when I got out on my own it was kind of hard for me to be alone and then you know once you have people in your house and stuff like that you get comfortable with people being there so once you are alone it's kind of hard to just be by yourself and I think once you learn to be by yourself and you learn that you don't have to have someone there with you in order for you to feel whole or in order for you to be you know feel satisfied or you know just anything like that you'll understand the power of being alone and I think I have found some of my most powerful strengths and I have grown so much just with being in solitude these past like few years I would say I'm to be completely honest I feel like I've been alone for like four years when I when I say alone I mean like just like having friends and like being around a bunch of people I started to limit contact with a lot of people and not like because I was trying to just like not be around people it was because I felt like people weren't deserving of my time anymore like I started to notice when people weren't deserving of my time and I decided to draw back and I know that's kind of like off subject of what this video is about we're not saying just go into isolation because you don't want to be bothered with people but the power of being alone because you can be alone is what I'm saying and I learned the power of being alone just because I just found out people weren't worthy of my time and I think when you find that power in being alone and just being by yourself learning to just sit in your own company you will feel so good just being by yourself just coming home or just going wherever you are just sitting by yourself and being by yourself being able to think clearly being able to make decisions without anyone telling you that you should or you should and just being able to react off your first in instinct and I also believe there's some connections with being alone and learning to trust your intuition when you're around a bunch of people you have a bunch of people in your ear you have a bunch of people telling you yes no you know you should do this you should do that and I feel like when you are alone it's strictly your thoughts and it's strictly you telling you what you should do and I feel like when you learn to be by yourself you'll also learn to trust your intuition more learning to love yourself and be one with yourself without anyone else around and also I um, just to kind of touch on that I also feel like you learn to be exactly who you are when you're by yourself like you don't have to put on a mask to please anyone you don't have to be someone that you're not and when you learn to be by yourself you will be exactly who your who your true authentic self is and you get to shine through as yourself and i think that is so so powerful when it comes to spending time alone and learning to learning to be by yourself and learning to enjoy your own company if you are new to being by yourself if you're used to being around a bunch of people and you're trying to learn to love being by yourself some things that you can do is meditate and journaling painting drawing um, listening to music dancing anything that sparks your creativity i feel that a lot of times when you first get into like being by yourself you tend to you try to do activities that you would normally do with multiple people but I feel like you should stay away from activities that require more than one person because then you'll start to realize like dang I don't have nobody here to do it with me you have to learn and, and find the enjoyment and activities that you can do by yourself like you don't want to play a card game because you might need two people like you should learn do painting or drawing or just dancing by yourself or something just learn how to knit a sweater or just make bracelets or something like just anything creative where you can actually enjoy your own company you can even just go play basketball or just go for a walk go for a run just anything that you can do by yourself that don't require other people with you I feel like it's the best way to start to enjoy being by yourself like try to stay away from activities that require more than one person another thing to consider when you are starting to be alone and enjoy your own company for the first time is just to not confuse loneliness with boredom sometimes you can confuse the two you may feel like you're lonely but in reality you're just bored and you need to find something to do it kind of touched back to the previous statement that I just made about just finding things that you can do by yourself without other people so that you don't feel bored because sometimes bored can can kind of 
frame or kind of mask as loneliness. You may be bored, but you may feel like you're lonely because you don't have anything to do. Find something to do. There are so many hobbies, so many activities that you can do, things that don't cost any money that you can do. And you just have to find the little things in between your life to do so that you don't feel bored and so that you most importantly don't confuse boredom with loneliness. Being alone or just spending time by yourself, learning to enjoy your own company is a form of self-care and it's the best self-care act that you can do. Like just imagine just being by yourself, being able to take a bath, or just being able to just take a shower or just you know make you some dinner sit on the couch watch a movie listen to some music sip some wine or just anything like that that you are allowed to do in your life of course and just being by yourself and just enjoying your own company reading a book reading is definitely another thing that you can do if you are enjoying or learning to enjoy your own company and just like learn to just be by yourself and find like the peace in every moment of being by yourself like when it's just so quiet and you can literally hear yourself think like you can hear yourself like you can just hear yourself breathing like <laughs> it's so important just to like incorporate that type of self-care into your daily life but the most important thing that you should take away from this video is to not be so comfortable with being by yourself that you cut yourself off from the world and put yourself into solitude or go into hermit mode as we call it and you don't know how to pull yourself out of it you get so comfortable with being alone that you don't be around people and it's like you have to interact with people like you have to interact with people you have to be around people you have to communicate and i know sometimes it seems as if because we have technology that we are communicating with people just because we're communicating through technology but i a firm believer and you have to communicate with people in the flesh like you have to communicate with people in the real world in order to maintain your sanity in this world because sometimes you will feel like you're isolated because you're not communicating with real people and I think for me like I have a four-year-old so I talk to her a lot but it's like do I have any friends like no I don't have any, a social life like and I've said this in multiple videos that I don't know who I am outside of being a mom anymore. Like once I became a mom, I feel like I put that cape on and I've been wearing it since. And I'm trying to find myself and figure out who I am without being a mom. And I think that's like the hardest thing when it comes for me, you know, spending time by myself. Because when I get a little bit of time by myself, it's like catch up on this, catch up on that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when you are, when you are learning to just be in your own company, don't forget to also include people in your life from time to time. Don't just go into hermit mode and just X everyone out of your life because you will end up losing a lot of friends because of it. Trust me, I know. Just don't put yourself in hermit mode and put yourself in isolation and be stuck there. But that is what I have for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, this video is fairly short. I'm trying to keep them short and sweet and straight to the point. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this topic or if you have any other um, questions or comments that you want me to bounce off of in a future video, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you you love this video because you'll love the rest of my content as well make sure you catch up with some of my past content that i post recently i post every single wednesday at 10 a.m and of course you do not want to miss this amazing content but that's what i have for today's video and i will see you next week in another upload thanks so much for watching